Hi guys, um, can you hear me? I was trying to do this from my laptop, but it's not happening. So let's see. I can't really see if there's comments. Why? I hope you can hear me. I don't know how to say. Oh, Rachel, hi. Okay, so can you guys hear me? some reason the laptop isn't working right so we're gonna just do it from my phone okay hi Susan all right we'll wait for five people we'll wait for a few more people to get on as I try to figure out what I'm doing gives me a couple different I don't want a mask. All right. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. I'm not quite sure. I can't see any comments or anything, but I think we're okay. Hi guys, <laughs> just give me one minute while I try to see how it's showing up. Working out all the kinks, right? Bear with me for two more seconds. Okay. Okay, I hear you. Now I see you guys. Perfect. For some reason it's not showing up on my phone, but we're going to trust that we're good and we're going to get going. So thanks so much for joining me this morning. Um, if I haven't met you before, so I'm sorry, Beck. Uh, my name is Lindsay. I have been teaching here at Mission since June, I think. And I usually teach Wednesday and Sunday night open level classes. Um, so I'm happy to be joining you this morning. And um, I'm a super open level teacher. So if you've never taken yoga before, this is a great class for you. But if you also have a more advanced practice, um, hopefully you can find something from this practice to make your own. Um, you know, I know things have been really difficult, so I'm really excited to share this practice with you guys today. Um, why don't we start, I usually start with some type of breathing meditation in my classes. I figured today we can start with Tong Wen, which is a Tibetan Buddhist meditation that we've done before in class. And this meditation is about drawing the suffering of others into your body um, for a brief moment and then changing that suffering into healing, um, changing that pain into something beautiful. Um, and I really think that's something that we uh, could be doing right now, uh, knowing that there's so many people struggling and you may feel a little bit helpless as to how to help and exactly what your role is in all of this. So if you wanna take a comfortable seat with me, ankles crossed, knees open wide, resting your hands on tops of your knees, Soften your gaze or closing your eyes. And beginning to just tune into the breath as you tune everything else out as much as you can. The sounds around you, any anxiety inside your heart, any thoughts floating around inside of your head. And beginning to just tune into the breath Noticing the movement of the breath within the stillness of the body. Feeling the breath move from your belly, through your chest, through your throat, and in and out 
through the nose or through the mouth. Not trying to change the breath in any way. Just simply becoming aware. Not judging it or wondering if you're doing this right or wrong. There's no wrong way to do it as long as you're breathing. Feeling the shoulders soften. Feeling the muscles relax. Scanning down through the body, noticing any areas of tension or frustration. Starting at the top of the head, moving through the face, through the neck. Any stiffness or tightness. Maybe any pain. I know I felt some pain in my lower back lately. That's where I carry a lot of my stress. Not dwelling too long on what might feel uncomfortable. Just simply scanning down to the tips of the toes. Slowly beginning to deepen the breath, taking a deep inhale in through the nose. And exhaling out through the mouth. Another deep inhale in. And exhaling it out. Continuing to take deep inhales and exhales in and out through the nose, warming the body from the inside out, drawing the inhales to the areas of tension you notice during your body scan, and using the exhales to relax just a bit more. Drawing the hands together at Heart Center in prayer as we begin our meditation of Tong Lin. Labeling the inhales as the suffering of others, drawing that suffering into your body. And labeling the exhales as healing, as release, as relief from that suffering, from that pain. Identifying a person or a group of people who might really need that healing right now. Maybe those who are inflicted with the virus. Maybe those who are working in harm's way for us to protect us. Maybe someone who is feeling anxious about the possibility of getting the virus. Maybe someone who has a loved one in their life who is vulnerable to the virus. Maybe it's just the world in general and the anxiety that many of us are feeling right now. Clearly seeing that person, a group of people in your mind, on the inhale, drawing their suffering into your heart. And on the exhale, releasing, healing. Inhaling in their pain. And exhaling out love. Inhaling in fear. Exhaling out peace. Continuing to take five more inhales and exhales at your own pace. Transforming that anxiety, that pain, that suffering into something beautiful. Taking one more breath in together. And exhaling it out. Taking a moment to set an intention or dedication for your practice. Maybe it's the same dedication that we just took 
that compassion, that healing for the world, for those who might be suffering. Or setting an intention, a personal intention for yourself. On the inhale, drawing that intention into your heart. And exhale, letting it out. Letting the universe work out the details for you. Beginning to come back into the space. Opening the eyes. Coming back to this moment. We're going to start in the tabletop position. Stacking shoulders over the wrists. Knees hip width distance apart, pressing through the palms, toes untucked. On the inhale, drop the belly, shining the heart forward into cow pose. Exhale, rounding the spine, drawing the navel into cat. Inhale to cow, shining your heart forward. Exhale to cat, drawing that navel in. Continuing those two movements back and forth and adding anything else that feels good, making this practice completely your own. Looking over the right or left shoulder, swaying the hips from side to side, flipping or reversing the palms as you continue to move through your cats and through your cows. Working out all the kinks for one more breath. And eventually coming back to a flat back. Finding thread the needle pose here. Inhale, reach the right arm toward the right side of the room. Exhale, pulling it under and through. Coming down onto that right shoulder, that right cheek. Either leaving the left hand right where it is or walking the fingertips forward or maybe taking a half bind around the back. Trying to keep the hips square, but not bothering too much with what the pose looks like. You can do the pose or not, instead focusing on what the pose is doing for you. For one more breath. Bring the left palm underneath the shoulder to press yourself up. Release that right arm and move to the opposite side. Left arm reaches, pulling it under and through. Getting into that left side, same arm variation here. And bringing the right hand back, pressing yourself up, moving through a round of cats and cows here. And finding child's pose, walking the palms forward, big toes together to touch, knees open wide, lowering your forehead down onto the mat, reconnecting to the breath, knowing that you can find this pose at any point during the practice, taking a break whenever you need it. Beginning to press into the palms, tucking the toes under, finding your first downward facing dog of the practice, bending the knees, pedaling out the feet, finding freedom of movement here, lifting the tailbone to the sky as you press evenly through the palms, externally rotating the shoulders, drawing the heels toward the earth. On the inhale, pull forward to a plank pose, stacking shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, lift back to downward facing dog. Inhale, pull forward to a plank, stacking shoulders over the wrists. And exhale, find downward facing dog. Once more like that. Inhale, pull forward to a plank, dropping knees, chest and chin to the mat. Pulling forward for a baby cobra. Holding here for three breaths, maybe hovering the palms off of the mat as you press the tops of the feet into the mat, breathing into that lower back, lifting the heart, pressing the palms into the mat, find child's pose briefly as 
you tuck the toes under, coming back up into your downward facing dog, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely. Inhale, rise up onto the toes, take a slow walk to the top of your mat, finding ragdoll pose, palms are directly, feet are directly behind the palms, bending the knees generously, grabbing for opposite elbows, bending the knees, pedaling everything out, nodding the head yes, shaking the head no, and allowing anything heavy that you've been carrying to roll down your spine, off the crown of the head, onto your mat, letting it go. On the exhale, releasing the fingertips to the mat and taking a slow roll up to stand, finding Tadasana Mountain Pose, drawing the big toes together to touch, slight separation in the heels, stacking the knees over the ankles, hips over the knees, shoulders over the hips. Crown of the head reaching to the sky, pressing evenly into the feet. Moving through Surya Namaskar A, modifying as needed. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge the hips to fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back. Into plank pose, bending the elbows to lower down the chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, your heart forward and through for up dog or tall cobra. Exhale, the hips back. Down your facing dog. Reconnecting to your breath, being present to each posture. On the inhale, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees to look forward. Inhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky, hands to heart center in prayer. Moving once more like that at your own pace, connecting to your breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back, bending the elbows, lowering down. Inhale, your heart forward and through. Exhale, hips up and back. Inhale, deeply. Exhale, completely. Inhale, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees to look forward. Inhale, step the float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Hands to heart center in prayer. Knowing that you can skip the vinyasa at any point. And meet the class back at downward facing dog. Moving through Surya Namaskara B. Inhale, bend the knees, sink the seat. Awkward chair, holding here for three breaths as you squeeze the thighs together, lifting the toes slightly, shifting the weight into the heels, drawing the biceps up by the ears, finding one more breath, sink a little bit lower. Exhale, fold over straight legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back, flowing through your vinyasa, eventually meeting back in downward facing dog. From down dog, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, draw the knee toward the nose. Plant the right foot. Drop the left heel to a 45 degree angle and rise up, warrior one. Pulling that right hip back, pressing that left hip forward, extending the arms to the sky. Biceps up by the ears. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, circle the palms down, bring the front foot. Step the right foot back to meet the left and flow through your vinyasa or move straight back to downward facing dog. I'm going to skip some of the vinyasas. You keep moving. <laughs> I get out of breath pretty easily when I'm teaching and doing the practice at the same time. From down dog, reach the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee toward the nose, warrior one. Drop that right heel and draw yourself up. Keeping that knee stacked on top of the ankle, reaching the arms to the sky, breathing into that lower back. Exhale, circle the palms down, frame the front foot, stepping back, flowing through your vinyasa, pulling the heart forward and through for up, 
dog. And exhale, pressing back down and facing dog. It's the saying, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Just listening to my voice, holding and breathing and down dog. We're dropping down to child's pose for a break. As we begin to move into the heart of our practice, inhale, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees to look forward. Inhale, step or float to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Inhale, bend the knees, sink the seat. Awkward chair. Exhale, rise to stand. Hands to heart center in prayer. Folding here, coming back to your intention, to your dedication. Inhale, bend the knees, fixate the seat, awkward chair. Exhale, fold over straight legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or foot back, lower and down through your vinyasa. Modifying as needed, then coming back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, drawing it forward and through, warrior one. Drawing yourself up. From your warrior one, straighten the front leg, hop step that back foot up just a few inches, finding pyramid pose, reaching the arms forward, drawing that right hip back, pressing that left hip forward as you fold down, bringing the nose toward the right knee. With each exhale, folding just a bit deeper. Inhale, halfway lift, keeping the left hand where it is. Exhale, reach the right arm toward the sky, twisting it up. Revolved triangle pose. Finding one more breath. Exhale, right hand comes down, putting a micro bend into that right knee. Walking the fingertips forward, standing split, lift the left leg. Point the left toes, maybe walking the hands back now. Being gentle with your first standing split. Knowing you might not be that stretched out or that warm yet. Always being gentle with yourself. On the exhale, left foot meets right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Inhale, draw yourself to stand. Arms reach up. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back. Flowing through your vinyasa, lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, your heart forward and through, up dog. Exhale, your hips up and back, meeting knee and down and facing dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Exhale, warrior one, plant the left foot, rising up. We've been here before. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Hop step, the right foot up a few inches, reaching the fingertips forward, and then down as you draw that left hip back, pulling that right hip forward. Nose comes toward the knee. Pyramid pose. Stretching out the back of that leg for one more breath. Inhale, halfway lift, right hand stays planted, left arm reaches, revolve triangle pose, twisting it out. Exhale, left hand comes down, micro bend in the left leg, lift the right toes, walk the fingertips forward, standing split, maybe walking the hands back. If you lift the leg just a bit higher, And exhale, right foot meets left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center in prayer. Moving into a forward fold here. Feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, folding all the way down. Taking your peace fingers to grab for your big toes. Inhale to look forward. Exhale to fold. Draw your heart toward your thighs. Shifting the weight into the toes. 
Bending the knees or straightening them as much as you need to. Reconnecting to the breath. And releasing your forward fold. Toes come back together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step or foot back. Flowing through your vinyasa. Eventually making your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Find some movement here. Making circles with that knee. Wiggling the ankle, the toes, opening everything up. re straighten the leg. Pulling it forward and through for a low lunge. Coming down onto that left knee, right foot plants. Hands come to the top of the thigh, pressing the hips forward. Eventually extending the arms to the sky. Creating that little baby back bend. Hands come to your hips. Tucking the left toes under and lifting up into your high lunge pose. Extending the arms to the sky. Hands to heart center in prayer. Reaching that left heel back, twisting to the right. Either staying up high or coming down low. Tucking that elbow on the outside of the knee. Trying to keep that back leg straight. Coming back through center, extending the arms to the sky. Drop that left heel. Open up warrior two. Still bending into that knee, starting to feel it fire up a little bit. So that left hip opens. If you can stay with it, bending that knee, flip the front palm, reach up and back, stretching from the right hip out the right hand. Still bending. Exhale, release that right, right leg, straightening it out. Reverse triangle pose. Feeling the stretch from the right toes out, the right hand. Rebending into that right knee, coming into a high side angle pose. Forearm comes to the right thigh, left arm lifts. Extending that left arm toward the front of the mat. Transitioning into a simple twist. Left hand comes down, bring the ball of the back foot, right arm reaches. Creating a line of energy from the left palm out, the right hand. Still reaching that left heel back. Exhale, right hand comes down, step the right foot back to meet the left. Flowing through your vinyasa, or moving straight back to downward facing dog. Using the poses to rinse out the body. Eventually coming back to your down dog. On the inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Make some circles here. Big or small in each direction. Wiggling the ankle, the toes. Restraighten the leg. Pulling it forward and through for a low lunge. Coming down onto that right knee. Hands come to the thigh, pressing the hips forward. Extending the arms to the sky, opening the heart. Preparing to move up into our high lunge. Hands come to the hips. Tuck the right toes under, lift yourself up. Trying to straighten that back leg behind you as you reach the right heel back. Hands to heart center in prayer. Exhale, twist to the left, either staying up high or coming down low. Twisting it out, detoxifying the body. Coming back through center, arms reach. Still bending into that left knee, drop the right heel, warrior two. Keeping that knee stacked on top of that ankle, reaching actively through the fingertips. Lift the front palm, reach up and back, find some peace. Still bending just for one more breath. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Reverse triangle pose, stretching it out. Mm -hmm. 
Rebending into that left knee, high side angle, forearm comes to the thigh, right arm reaches. Trying to tuck that left shoulder underneath the right. Transitioning into simple twist. Right hand comes down, coming to the ball of the back foot, left arm lifts, creating a line of energy from the right palm out the left. Exhale, left hand comes down, stepping back, lowering down, moving through your vinyasa, keeping the elbows tucked to your sides, and eventually making your way back to downward facing dog. Drawing a deep inhale in, exhaling it out. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee toward the nose, warrior two. Plant the right foot, rising up. Extending the arms, flip the front palm, reach up and back. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle pose, coming all the way down or staying up high, right hand comes to the inside of the foot. Left arm reaches, moving into any binds or half binds here. Or staying just as you are, not sacrificing the posture to try to get into a pose. Finding one more breath. From your side angle, keeping the arms as they are straight in the front leg, trying to pose. Making any adjustments that you need to to get into your triangle. Pressing the back body against the imaginary wall behind you. On your next breath, drawing yourself up. Turning the right toes in. Preparing for goddess pose. Opening the knees, turning the uh, heels toward each other. Finding some movement in the hips, toes splayed out. Coming into eagle arms here. I'm starting to sweat a little this fire. <laughs> Bring the arms out to a T. Right arm reaches underneath the left, twisting the arms. You can just take the backs of the hands against each other. Or moving a bit deeper, drawing the elbows up so that they're parallel to the shoulders, and eventually finding stillness here. Breathing into the hips, to the insides of the legs, into the shoulders for one more breath. And releasing the arms out, straightening the legs, turning the right toes forward, transitioning into balancing half moon, Putting a slight bend into that right knee as you gaze out over the right fingertips. Fingertips move forward and maybe down. As you stack the left hip on top of the right, flexing the left toes. Left arm reaches. Maybe hovering the right fingertips off of the earth. Finding one more breath here. Drop the left hand next to the right, square the hips, standing split, lifting the toes, maybe bringing the right hand to the right calf for a deeper standing split than our first one. On the exhale, left foot meets right, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, reach the arms to the sky, exhale, refold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, stepping back, lowering down, or finding downward facing dog. Preparing for the other side. From down dog, reach the left leg up and back. Exhale, warrior two, plant the left foot, rising up. From your warrior two, flip the front palm, reach up and back. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle pose, either staying up high or coming all the way down. Moving into any binds or half binds that you may have taken on the other 
side to balance out the body. Tucking that left hip underneath the right. Releasing any binds. Transitioning right into your triangle pose by straightening the front leg, keeping the arms as they are, pressing the back body against the imaginary wall behind you. Drawing yourself back up, turning the left toes in, preparing for a goddess pose. Sorry that I'm flipped. Turning the heels in, bending at the knees, sinking the seat down, finding some nice movement here. Arms out to the T, left arm comes underneath the right, crossing at the elbows, maybe crossing at the wrists. Lift the elbows parallel to the shoulders as you sink lower and find some stillness. Holding and breathing for three breaths. Sinking just a bit lower. And releasing everything out. Turning the left toes forward, right toes in. Putting a little bend into the left knee, gazing out over the left hand. Balancing half moon pose. Left hand moves forward, knee down, stacking the right hip on top of the left, right arm reaches, flexing the right toes, maybe hovering that hand. Finding one more breath. Right hand comes down, square the hips. Standing split, lift the right toes, grab for the left calf. And exhale, right foot meets left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, draw yourself up. Exhale, hands to heart center. In prayer. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale out. Preparing for a balancing posture. Just going to take a sip of water, see how you guys are doing. We're going to come in to, how are we doing? We're good. We're going to come in, sorry, I took my breath, into Eagle Pose. Shifting the weight into the left foot. We bend the knees, sink the seat, crossing the right leg over the left, arms out to a T. Right arm reaches underneath the left arm, sinking the seat lower, lifting the elbows, tightening everything, maybe curling up into your nest, or keeping your heart lifted. Grounding down through that foot, Eventually drawing yourself back up. And releasing everything out. Preparing for the next side, shaking it out. Grounding down into that right foot, bend the knees, sink the seat. Left leg crosses over the right. Arms out to a T, left arm moves under the right. Crossing at the elbows. Elbows lift as you sink. Finding one more breath, maybe tucking into that nest or keeping the heart lifted. Exhale to release it all out. Letting it go. We're almost ready to wind down our practice. Moving through a vinyasa or stepping back into your downward facing dog. Folding, lifting, planting, eventually coming to that downward facing dog. Reconnecting to that breath, allowing that flow to rinse out the body. From down dog, reach the right leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the hip if it's in your practice. 
practice flipping your dog or staying just as you are, continuing to stack that hip. Coming back to your three-legged dog, reach the left, right leg up and back. Draw your knee toward the nose, ball and triangle, pinky side edge of the right foot comes down. Rolling to the edge of the left foot, left arm reaches. Maybe pressing into that left foot as you hover the right leg. Exhale, release it down, drawing that leg up and back. Exhale, knee toward the nose, pigeon pose. Right knee behind the right palm, right ankle behind the left. Straightening the left leg behind you, squaring the hips. Pressing the palms into the mat, taking seal arms here. As you press into the mat, drawing that right cheek down. As you press that left hip forward and down. Really getting into those hips, trying to straighten them out. And on the exhale, beginning to fold. Allowing whatever comes to come, whatever stays to stay, whatever leaves to leave, not attaching to anything, just being present and letting it be. Breathing into the discomfort for three more breaths. Pressing the palms underneath the shoulders, drawing your heart up. Transitioning into double pigeon or fire log pose, moving over onto that right cheek, swinging that left leg around, stacking the left ankle on top of the right knee, left knee on top of the right ankle, flexing the feet to protect the knees, either staying right where you are here, grounding the tailbone into the earth. Or if you'd like to for a little bit deeper of a stretch, folding forward. This is way too much wherever you're at. You can straighten that bottom leg and still get that nice hip opener in the left hip. On your next exhale, drawing yourself back up. Allowing the knees to come down as the ankles cross, rolling over the knees and making your way back to downward facing dog. Pedaling it out, finding any movement to release that hip. Preparing for the opposite side. Inhale, reach the left leg up and back, bend the knees, stack the hip. Flip your dog or stay just as you are. Flip to dogs, flipping it up and back, everybody meeting in a three-legged dog. Exhale, drawing the knee toward the nose. Left foot comes down, pinky side edge onto the floor. Rolling to the inside edge of the right foot, right arm reaches. Maybe pressing into the sole of the right foot as you hover the left foot off of the earth. For fall and triangle. Exhale, everything back. Knee into chest, releasing it up and back, and drawing it forward for pigeon on the left side, right knee, left knee behind the left palm, left ankle behind the right. Squaring the hips, straightening the leg behind you, bringing the palms to the mat, straightening the arms for seal arms, pressing that left cheek down, that right hip forward and down, really trying to square those hips. And on the exhale, beginning to fold, getting right back in to the opposite side. 
immediately noticing a difference in tightness from one side to the other, and releasing any judgment, knowing that we're naturally unbalanced physically, That's why we do postures on both sides to balance out the body. Holding and breathing for three more breaths. Eventually bringing the palms underneath the shoulders, pressing your heart up, rolling over onto that left cheek, swinging the right leg around for double pigeon pose, right ankle on top of the left knee, right knee on top of the left ankle, flexing the feet to protect the knees, either staying right where you are or beginning to fold, option to straighten that bottom leg if it's more comfortable. Slowly beginning to draw yourself back up. Straightening the legs out long in front of you. Coming into a heart opener here. Either a reverse tabletop by bending the knees, soles of the feet hip width distance apart, palms behind you, fingertips facing towards your hips. Or if you'd like a more advanced per version, reverse planks, straightening the legs and lifting the hips. On the inhale, pressing into the palms, lifting the heart, breathing into those shoulders, allowing the head to drop. Finding one more breath, lifting just a bit higher. And exhale to lower back down, drawing the knees into the chest, forehead to the knees. We'll do that one more time. Option to either go deeper into the reverse plank or to back off a bit into reverse tabletop, palms behind you, fingertips facing toward the hips, knees bent or legs straight. On the inhale, lifting the hips, dropping the head, opening the heart. And exhale to release it all back down. Drawing the knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the shins. Straightening the legs in front of you for Dandasana. Legs pressing together, toes are flexed. Sits bones pressing into the earth, palms at your sides, tucking the chin under, creating a nice flat back. On the inhale, reach the arms to the sky, leading with your heart always. Folding forward, allowing the hands to fall wherever they end up, not overreaching, overstretching, beginning to wind down. So being gentle with yourself. With each exhale, holding just a bit deeper. Drawing yourself back up. Coming into Janu Sirsasana. Bending the right knee, placing the right sole of the foot on the inside of the left thigh. Allowing that knee to fall open as you square the body over the left leg. Flexing the toes, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold, drawing the nose toward the knee. Slowly drawing yourself back up and switching out legs. Right leg long, left knee bent, sole of the left foot to the inside of the right thigh, letting that knee fall open. 
Squaring yourself over that right leg. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold nose toward the knee. We're almost done here. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I definitely needed this today. Drawing yourself back up. Finding butterfly pose, bound the angle, bending the knees, allowing them to both fall open, soles of the feet together. If you'd like a little bit softer version, bring the feet out further in front of you. If your hips really want more, drawing the feet closer to you. Bring the elbows to the insides of the thighs, palms grabbing for the feet, lifting your heart. And on the exhale, folding forward. Beginning to draw yourself back up. Closing the knees like the book. Reaching the arms long in front of you, heart is lifted and slowly coming down. One vertebrae at a time, all the way down onto your back. Extending the arms and legs long, reaching and pointing, taking up space, creating as much length as you can, pointing and reaching for one more breath, maybe lifting the legs off of the earth as you point. On the exhale, draw the knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the shins, massaging out that lower back. Bringing the arms out to a T, allowing the knees to fall heavy to the left side as you gaze towards your right hand. For a supine twist, cooling down, reconnecting to the breath. Drawing the knees back through center, realigning the hips, maybe giving yourself a nice little squeeze. Arms out to a T. Once again, knees fall heavy to the right, easing toward the left hand. I definitely miss the classes and having everybody together, but I'm really happy that you're all able to join today. I know that all the teachers here at Mission miss you guys. I know there's some teachers on right now. I miss you guys too. Drawing the knees back through center. Finding happy baby pose, knees open wide. Flexing the feet as if you're trying to place them on the wall, on the ceiling. Grabbing for the outsides of the feet or the big toes. I know some people prefer that. If this is not accessible to you, grabbing for the backs of the thighs. Drawing that tailbone toward the mat. Back of the neck into the mat. Maybe rocking from side to side playfully, straightening or re-straightening each leg. I know sometimes I rock too hard in this pose and fall right over. Totally fine, just getting right back into it. And coming into a reversion, releasing the legs long toward the sky. I'm going to take Viparita Karani, legs up the wall pose, flexing the feet, stacking them directly above the hips, allowing the legs to fall back into the hips, palms at my sides. If you have a shoulder stand or a head stand in your practice, feel free to take them here. Be careful of your surroundings. If you'd like to practice a head stand against the wall, Reversing the effects of gravity, allowing fresh blood to flow from the toes, down the legs, into the hips. Holding for three more breaths. On your next exhale, drawing the knees into the chest. Squeezing them toward the heart, maybe drawing your forehead toward the knees, and eventually extending the legs out long in front of you. 
toes splayed open to the sides. Maybe you'd like to take Supta Baddha Konasana, recline bound to angle pose, bending the knees, bringing the soles of the feet together. Arms resting at your sides. Let's take a few more breaths with the right hand on our belly, left hand on our heart. Scanning down through the body, noticing any continued areas of tension or frustration. Any places of anxiety or chaos. And sending a little bit of extra love to those areas, to ourselves, to our loved ones, to the world tonight, today, this morning. With a deep inhale, drawing love, healing into our hearts. And opening the mouth to let it out into the world. You can stay here as long as you'd like in your Shavasana. For me, the most important part of the practice, feeling everything in. Allowing yourself to just be. Either staying right where you are, I'm going to finish this practice, but you can keep going. Take as much time as you need, even if the kids or the dogs or your partner is running around, taking some time for yourself. Bending the knees, placing the soles of the feet onto the mat. Extending the arms out long behind you for a stretch. Falling heavy to your right side. You can stay right there, finding one more moment for yourself. And whenever you're ready, not a moment before, with eyes closed, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seated position, just as we started. Drawing your hands together, heart center in prayer bowing your head in dedication to your practice. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide this morning. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Be gentle with yourselves today. Before I sign off, let's see how everybody's doing. Thanks so much, guys. I'm so glad you all joined me. Um, I know we have a lot more classes for you. Namaste, Lindsay. Thanks, Sean. Um, so keep checking the schedule. Keep checking the page. We'll have lots more classes for you guys. Know that you are missed and that you are loved. And hopefully we will see you all sooner rather than later. Have a great day.